All right, muchachos, in this video, we're going to do problem 6.01, traffic light anim. So I already have the file downloaded and opened up in Doc it. So let's just get started with problem A. So design an animation of a traffic light. All right, so here's an emoji of a traffic light. Your program should show a traffic light that is red, then green, then yellow, and then goes back to red, all right? And we'll show you that shortly. For this program, your changing world state, data definition, should be an enumeration. So we've done a problem like this in 4.01, but try to do it all over from scratch uh, in this file, all right? Use the strings red, yellow, and green to represent the world state. Uh, the images of the traffic lights have been provided below. Uh, remember to follow the ATW recipe. Be sure to do a proper domain analysis before starting to work on the code file. All right, so let me just show you guys what this program looks like before you guys will be building it. So it's just animating a tra traditional traffic light as you can see, it goes from red to green, and then yellow, and then red again at one tick per second. All right, so pause the video and show work in our node. I'm going to go spoilers in three, two, and one. All right, so I'm assuming that you guys took a good swing at it. So if we scroll down really quickly, you can see some contents already defined for us. And I can run it here off to the side so you guys can see what they are. So radius is 20, that's self-explanatory. The rest are images. So here's the black background for the traffic light. And then here's the red light, right, that uses that black background. As you can see here, it overlays this block, which is a bunch of circles above each other, right? And, uh, you know, these yellow and green ones are, you know, outlines, and the red one is solid, so as you can see here, right? Same for the yellow and uh, green light, right, for their respective colors. All right, green light, all right? So you guys already made traffic lights. I, you know, just gave this to you guys. So you guys don't have to like uh, make the images yourselves. All right. Also makes it a little easier for the auto creator. But anywho, here is my domain analysis. All right. So we can see it goes, you know, starts on red and then goes to green and then goes to yellow and then it'll loop back and then turn back to red again. All right. So we did the constants for you in this exercise. Uh, it's your job to wire these all together, right? The changing information and then map it to images. All right, so let's just get started on that. So our world program, let's be more specific about this, animates a, a traffic light. All right, so let's see, let's start with the data description. So I did say that the underlying data definition should be an enumeration of strings, right? Which are the names of the colors themselves. So let's just do that. So we're gonna say a traffic light, traffic, light is one of so it's going to be the string red representing you know the state that it is red at all right yellow and then the string green all right interpretation is really self-explanatory so let me just check myself off for all these steps so you're done that's pretty self-explanatory uh let's see did examples so we can make constants out of these but again examples will be more interesting in the upcoming sections so we're just going to skip that for now. A function that, a function template that processes this data. All right. So rem always remember that since it is a one of traffic light temp. All right. I'm going to say the argument name is TL. Since it's a one of, we have to do a con to distinguish between all these three cases. All right. So con and since it's enumeration, there are three cases to three to match the data definition. All right. Three here, three here. And we have to distinguish between each of them. So they're strings. So string equal hog does the TL equal red. Then we want to do something with the TL. All right. And let's do so for all these other cases. All right. So we have yellow and then green. Okay. All right. So that is the template done. Let's just keep going. All right. Now is the how to design functions. So we need let's see what big bang options do we need on tick and to draw right so we don't need stop when we really don't need any mouse interaction in this program and we'll need on key in the next exercise right the optional challenge all right so i'm just going to comment that out for now okie dokie all right so now let's change these world state all right ws the signature should now be traffic light so traffic light Right, the enumeration, this, you know, these types. Of, again, it's really easy to conflate the images, right? The images of a red light, a green light, and a uh, 
yellow light with the underlying strings, but we're mapping these strings to the images. So keep those as two separate things uh, as you will. So this is going to be main. Uh, all right. Oh, and this should be WS. That's what I'm trying to replace. And then traffic light. All right, so main should consume a traffic light and reduce the traffic light. Uh, I'm just gonna skip those priority names for now. So there we go, like so. Same with next light. That's gonna be bound to the on take function here, as you guys can see, right? Uh, not gonna touch the priority names. All right, okay. So now I'm gonna press control I to re-indent everything. We can start on the next light function. All right, so let's just follow these steps for how to design functions. All right, so signature, purpose, so produce the next traffic light. Oh, kind of self explanatory here, but uh, I can always improve it later. So that's the signature, purpose. I'm going to give myself a check for that. And then the stub. So the stub is going to be, it has to produce a traffic light, so we can make it stub out to red. All right, because red is a traffic light, a string red. All right, so let's just keep going. So some examples now. Do, 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 check, expect, next light. So what happens if we give the string red, right? What is the next state after red? Well, we can always look at our drawings here after red is green, so it should hop to green. Up, oh, should hop to green like so. And uh, I wrote the changing information kind of answer over here. And again, we, we kind of did this problem before. So red should turn to green. All right. Uh, then what? What happens when the state of the traffic light is green? Well, that should be yellow, right? And then what happens when it's yellow? Well, it should turn to red. So yellow. And then red. All right, so red to green, green to yellow, and then yellow to red. All right, so those are the tests done. So let's run a stub against the uh, tests and see if we get any errors. Uh, it seems like it's just mismatches for now. Actual value red differs from green. Yeah, that's fine. It's just the stub. All right, so now we're going to grab our template and start from the data definition and start coding up the body. So let's just use this as a starter. And we'll replace the stub, rename this next light. All right. So uh, try to pause the video. Uh, we have done this problem before. Uh, try to work through the solution. We'll spoilers in three, two, and one. All right. So I assume that you guys took a good swing in it. So red should turn to green, right? As the tests say, the tests are kind of just giving us the answers here. So yellow should then turn to red, right? So when the traffic light is yellow, turn to red. And then when it's green, we're going to turn back to yellow. Okay. All good. So now if we run the tests, all the tests should pass. And so they do. All right. So now let's move on to the render function. So render function, your job is to map these strings to images, right? It's going to map these traffic lights, which are strings. Again, don't get the images confused with the underlying data representation to images. All right, so uh, draws the given traffic light as an image, all right? And we have to find those images as constants, again, right over here, right? So to pause the video and try to work it on your own, it's very similar to this next light function but with images. So I'm going to go with spoilers in three, two, and one. All right, so I'm assuming that you guys took a good swing at it. So signature, purpose, stub. So we can use empty image. Because this function at the end of the day has to produce an image. There we go. Let's write some examples. So check, expect, render. What happens if we're given red, right? That's the input. And then we want to map it to the red light, right? The constants defined above, like so. All right, red light. Then we hit enter. There we go. All right, let's just do so for the rest of the other tests. Yellow, and it should be yellow light. It should be mapping to that constant image. And then green. Okie dokie. All right, so those are all the tests. So let's just run this against stub, make sure there are no errors. 
and it just, just differs. But uh, all this is fine. Oh, this should be green light. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. All right. So now I should see three. Okay, that's why it was kind of weirdly aligned. All right. So now really pause the video because this should be all the mental scaffolding needed to solve the problem. I'm going to get spoilers in three, two, and one. All right, so it seems that you guys took a good swing at it. So let's see where we were for the second function. So let me just say the second one. We just did the signature verb stub. We just did the examples, the template. We're going to take that and start now and do the body. Code up the body for this render function. Okie dokie. So rename this function. All right, so now it's uh, pretty straightforward as to what this does. We just want to map these strings, right? The given traffic like strings to the images of what they are, like so. So when given the string red, we produce the image of the red light. Given the string yellow, do the yellow light. And then the string green produce the image of the green light. All right, so we run this, all the tests should pass, and so they do. All right, so main, let's just leave a comment here, start the world with, we should start it with red. Like imagine if all the traffic lights in the world start with um, green, right? Everything turns green at once, that's not a good idea. Let's all start at red and then just let things roll out from there. All right, you could start it, you could run it with green if you want, but uh, up to you guys. Oh, this is going too fast. So let's just rate limit this to one. So space on the on tick right after the function. We'll put a one there to make sure this runs one time for a second. All right, so main of red, should start off at red, and then voila, we are done. Uh, again, you guys can start this at, you know, yellow if you want, or green, like so. All right, okie dokie. All right, so that is problem A essentially done. Now let's move on to the optional challenge B problem. All right, so it says problem B, upon finishing problem A, design a handle key function that will also advance the state of the traffic light upon pressing the N key. All right, so we need the handle key function. All right, so on key, we're gonna map this to a function called handle key, which does not exist yet. So let's just start grabbing the template for it at this website. So I'm gonna copy and paste this handle key definition and paste the Reno in here, and let's just start working it out. So what is the, so that's the signature. Let's just fix that. It's no longer going to consume the world state. That's going to be the traffic light. That's what we renamed the world state to be. Uh, its purpose, uh, which pretty much the problem described, is to reset the... Wait, no, it was advance. Advance the uh, traffic light one step forward if the N key... I'm going to quote that. N key is pressed. All right. So signature, purpose, stub, all right? So I can just, uh, eh, I'm gonna copy and paste this and then make this a stub. And then I'll just, you know, delete it later because this is the template for it. All right, so pause the video and try to work it on your own. I'm gonna go spoilers in three, two, and one. All right, so let's first write some tests actually. So check, expect, we need the handle key. So what happens if the world state is, uh, right, the traffic light state is red, right? What happens if we press the N key when it's red? Well, it should immediately hop to the next state, which is green, right? Because red goes to green, then green goes to yellow. So we're going to need three tests for this. And three. All right. And then, you know, one failing test for what happens if we don't press anything, you know, related to the N key. Like, what happens if you press X? We're not going to do anything, all right? So when it's going to be green and we press N, we're gonna quickly advance that to yellow, uh, like so, all right? And uh, let's see, when it's yellow, and we press the N key on our keyboards, well, that should quickly advance to red. And then this last one over here is what happens when you press X, right? Or, you know, any other unrelated key. We're not gonna test all the keys on the keyboard. Uh, we just want one, you know, sort of failing test here. So one thing that is opposite. So it just stays at red, right? That means that the update function, right, the uh, next light will handle the the transition to red from green, right? And again, this is just giving forward. All right, so let's just stub this out. So traffic light consumes the traffic light itself, the key event, 
right? And then it should produce a traffic light. So the stub should at least produce a traffic light. So we can do something like red as the default state. And we can run these tests to make sure they fail, but make sure there are no errors that crop up. And so they aren't, because those are just mismatches. All right, so now we can code the body of the function. All right, so again, I encourage you to pause the video and try to work it on your own. Spoilers in three, two, and one. So if the key we press is N, right, we want to advance the next, right, to the next um, state early, right? So we can use a function that we just wrote called next light. All right, we're gonna call next light early. So we're just gonna forward next light, light with the given world state. All right, again, I wanna rename this WS to, uh, what is it, TL, just to be consistent with what uh, these, all these other functions. So rename WS to TL, all right? So if we press the N key early, we wanna advance, if we press the N key, we wanna advance the traffic light early, like one step ahead, right? And uh, I know it's kind of weird that you're seeing next light uh, used here and used in the Big Bang, but that's just fine, right? The Big Bang is gonna run it, you know, one time per second uh, as per this clause here. And uh, it can run again if we press the N key. So hopefully that's nothing too surprising here. All right, otherwise you press X or the space key or we press nothing, then we wanna keep continuing on, right? If it's red and we press X or any other key that's not N, then we just keep the same traffic light state and the next light function will update that. All right, so I'm gonna run this code and all the tests should pass and so they do. And I'm gonna run main with the red, string red. And there we go, as we can see, it's running as normal, but if I press N, uh, hopefully you guys can see that on screen it's more advancing a lot more rapidly, right? And I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go fast again and stop like so, all right. So let's just submit this problem to hand in traffic light anim 6.01. We're gonna hand that in again. Don't worry, you get you know some missing marks on the render function because uh, it's kind of hard to grade those. But let me just refresh this page for traffic light anim. Nope, looks like I got log in again. So let's just do that, and we get 999. All right. Nice. Thank you for watching, He-Man. If you wish to interact with more of your kind, join our Discord linked in the description or on screen. If you want to aid in my quest for world domination, consider hitting the sub button. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, fire away below. Also, check out the annotations on screen for the next relevant video.